Okay, today we're working on an International 4900 with a DT-466E. Uh, uh, anyways, this one left me walking after I drove it about three miles. Uh, I tried to drive it to verify their concern that there was no power. Said that they couldn't get above five miles an hour, uh, but it was an intermittent concern. Um, <clears throat> anyways, after it left me walking, went back, fired it up, got it back to the shop, and I brought it back. And I wanted to verify my fuel pressure because that's what it felt like to me. felt like it was starving. And this is what I found. Now you can see I had my fuel pressure tester hooked up. Uh, if we go in here, right above the fuel filter, you've got these two lines. And your test port is right there for your low pressure fuel supply. Uh, it uses the same fitting as a Ford fuel pressure tester. Um, so you saw what we were getting. Uh, we found it looked like air in the system to me. We did find that the primer ball or the primer pump that's back here was leaking. So we replaced that. Um, of course, we replaced that fuel filter right there because that's important. And it ended up being a problem with the low pressure fuel supply pump right here. Um, after we replaced all three of those things to verify the system, went ahead and tested the fuel pressure again. And this is what we had. So remember guys, um, if you're testing a power concern, it doesn't matter. The vehicle, little, small, from a Geo Metro up to a big old international diesel, if you have fuel supply problems, you're not going to go anywhere. Then you're going to walk. I hate